So I'm going to do something I haven't done on this channel yet. I'm going to try to do it in one take. I'm just going to go straight through it. Basically, we're going to watch one of my video parts, uh, and I'm just going to talk about it, tell some stories behind it, and uh, basically talk more shit on my video part than I probably ever talked on someone else's video part. So this should be uh, interesting, to say the least. We are going to watch my least favorite video part I've ever filmed. It's called Van Days. Um, it's when I first moved out to California. I was living in my van, which I still am. And um, yeah, I don't know. Just wasn't. I wasn't stoked on it. I was hurt during a lot of it. I wasn't skating a lot. I was working full time at this construction site doing road work. I hated it. Um, I had like, you know, like a very, very much like had a lot of other stuff that was keeping me from skating. I was skating like barely at all. I had a dog at the time, um, which was a red healer. So we had to like walk the dog all the time. So you get off work, you'd walk the dog. And then it was dark by the time you, you got done that because my job usually ran late. And I also worked an hour away from my house. So just skating was uh, few and far between. I could skate like just enough to like almost be able to keep up at like the level of skill that I had, but it was, would just be like slowly fading the entire time. But anyhow, uh, here's that part. So um, yeah, just some random barracks part. Um, there's a wall ride. That that was cool um, animation though. So that right there, that little really thing that I just did. That's right when I learned how to do that, where you like really straight on on like a, a bar. And uh, basically you treat it exactly like a really, and you have to hit dead center of your board. So if you hit a little to the right or a little to the left, it'll heel flip or kick flip. Um, so yeah, just same thing as a really, just bash right into it and hope your truck doesn't catch. Um, feeble, pivot out, it's supposed to be 360, but I didn't do it that cool. That was my favorite shirt. It was a Towns Van Zandt shirt. This spot to this day is so fun. Um, I need to skate there more. It's just a bunch of anchors. That's actually right down the street from where I live now, where I stay most of the time. I need to skate it more, but I remember this is my first time ever being taken there, and I was so stoked on it. Look how bad this nollie flip is. Oh, you know what? That wasn't as bad as I remember it being. This Smith back 180 that I barely dipped. Wasn't happy about that. Um, that was a dumb way to start this line. Let me turn the volume on. Uh, I just skated there the other day, actually, and it wasn't that fun. But yeah, Wally, Wally knows me now. Blah, blah, blah. You saw what I did. This is in North Carolina. Um, what did I do? Front crook shove or something? A oh, front crook to fakie. So I did, right after that, I did the front crook to fakie. And then right after that, I did uh, some flip trick on flat, switch rail flip. And uh, the guy, Tim, who edited, it, edited this, um, he was a little bit more concerned with like the flow of the video part, more so than like the tricks that I did. So he took the ver switch rail flip out. And I remember being bummed about it, but um he probably knows more about editing than i do uh as you can tell i don't fucking do anything into my put any edit effort into my editing in my videos so uh he's probably right and i'm wrong this felt cool though figure front to flip nose manual drop off i had wanted to do that forever people always bug me like why don't you go off the uh end of the pad it was because there's a big puddle there like i still took the same amount of a drop just i couldn't go off the end because there's a gigantic puddle why didn't you go through the puddle because i didn't have a bearing sponsor back then um front side flip i just started doing those again my favorite part of that line is that little switch float over the crack. Really gross fakie flip. Really gross switch 180. My feet were kind of cool. What I do? Feeble to bar the grind? I just learned that trick, so I was stoked, stoked to film one. Switch front crook. I stick my pinky out far when I skate. I do fakie front side half cabs and lines when I'm too scared to flip trick. Um, I like doing that trick. That was in New York that my friend filmed really well. Uh, DJ filmed it. So the majority of this part is filmed by my buddy Grant uh he works at volcom now and the way we met was like he was a virgin he like filmed a bunch of dudes in virginia beach and then randomly moved to like glen rock pa which is like where i was living at the time and uh like middle of nowhere no spots and he just like happened to be a really good filmer and i happened to live in glen rock and it really worked out to have like someone i could go filming with but my skating was just so shit then um so it's kind of like bittersweet i guess it's definitely a bummer that like i wasn't able to skate like as much as I, or as well as I was like maybe like a year before I even started filming for this part. But uh, at the end of the day, it's cool. I got a part on the barracks. It has 21,000 views, which is probably the least amount of views that the barracks has ever seen. Uh, so that's good. It's nice when you, you, you get a post on something that has like a billion followers and it still does shit. Um, I like that I, you can't, I turned the volume off so no copyright, but I firecracker that curb and it was my favorite part of this line. Little nolly over for, for whatever reason, that pillar. I could not wally that pillar. I did that line a couple of times and I could not land that wally. I actually like this line. This spot's called Baldy. 
Um, and yeah, just that a school called Body, I guess. I love that trick. I need to start doing it more. After that, I do a slappy 50 50 on the ledge. I was kind of bummed we took that out too. I really like that clip. I'm going to play it again because I liked it so much. Um, I really like front 180 50 manis. This thing is taller than it looks. Um, but like the, with the shade and everything, he couldn't really change the angle. Half cap crook back to fakey. I was stoked on that. That trick's gross. Look, okay, let's talk about that real quick. Look at my arms. Well, look at this. I do the trick. Watch how, watch how I like fake steeze this. This is so fucking gross. I'm like, Ugh! and the reason was uh, the landing is like kind of rough, and I landed and kind of froze. And I was like, I was like, oh, this is like kind of a cool ride away. But then like, the only way that would have been a cool ride away is if he was so zoomed in on my fucking feet. If he was Bill Strobicking my feet, that you couldn't see how dumb my fucking arm was. Oh, it was awful. It's Figgy Tray Switch Manny Switch Alley. That's the first Figgy Tray Switch Manny I ever did. I like this line. I was originally trying front three kickflip over that, and I couldn't do it. I did that line a couple times, though. This line, I originally do this exact same line. Front side half cap, nose manual, hippie jump, nothing. And then I did front lip, back side 270 out in the middle of the ledge. But he kept the ollie out because, for some reason, he said that he just really liked the way I ollied out of that. Even though the 270 out was, like, a more difficult trick. Now, I agree with the idea of doing a trick well is better than doing a more difficult trick sometimes, especially to fit with a song and a video part. But, but, um, I felt like I did the 270 pretty good. So I don't know. I, yeah, he just did disagreements on the way the trick looked. Um, I was stoked on that trick. So that was a front side, or that was a hurricane seatbelt grab, which I recently started doing on rails. Uh, and it was hard to do. So fun fact about that book, though, that book, like right where you lock in on the grind, like there's like a divot underneath it. So when you do hurricane grinds on this thing, or like sometimes uh, like, like pinchy crooks, the dip will hold your wheel in there. So it's actually like a cheat, like it's really easy to hold certain grinds on this thing because you're kind of grinding like a thin concrete rail that'll let your wheel pinch like real well. Uh, this is gonna get real meta. Uh, I'm gonna point to the clip that's already up on the screen. Right where my wheel is, where I'm grabbing, that wheel right there is actually in this little divot, which is like holding me there. So it was like easy to hold hurricane, hurricanes on there. I also filmed like a hurricane big spin out on that in a different part that I think was also on the barracks. It was on something. But uh, no, no, that was in my vans in them. So that was Ride Channel. That's what that was in. Is Ride Channel still a thing? Does anyone know? That was cool when it was a thing. Because free lunch was cool. I like that show. Um, so, yeah, that's basically all there is about that. You also land and ride immediately in the grass. So, he was smart to pay, pan away. Half cap push for no reason. Firecracker, absolutely nothing. I tried to really grab Indy, but I didn't. I mean, I grabbed it, but you can't really tell. Nose manual, nollie up, nothing to nothing. That line was super boring. I like this line a lot. Hard flipping up that gap felt cool. Uh, this is also the first pair of maternity pants that I ever, like, worn. Is that what you, how you would say that? First pair of maternity pants that I wore. Uh, and this is this pair of maternity pants that sold me on it. If you see my footage, uh, and I'm looking like I'm wearing great pants, they're always maternity pants. So if you want to know what kind of pants I'm wearing, it's maternity pants. There's an Instagram account called what pants are those. And for a minute, he was commenting on so many of my videos, like what pants are those? What pants are those? They're always maternity pants. Uh, always just, you just go to the pregnant women's section and you get a maternity pants because the elastic band is stretchy. The pants is like always like a good material. They're cheap as hell. And uh, they're stretchy, and usually they're good lengths. But yeah, tail slide, pop sideways. Um, that took me a while to do. I think I filmed it as a single first like that, and then went back and uh, did it in line. Gila Monster, my friend Donovan. Uh, Rice is the master of this trick. So Gila Monster is essentially when you grab Indy and you just put the tip of your heel on the thing, on like the top of the coping, and you like hold the board completely above the coping and you try to exaggerate it as much as possible. My friend Donovan can literally do this on anything. Like, if you stood still long enough, you would do it on your face. But yeah, I, I was glad the way that clip came out. Um, half cab feeble, 270 out. Uh, that spot's really fun. I didn't really grind that Switch Smith good at all. Uh, but that was a good day. Stoked on that trick. That spot is so sick. Um, here, let me back it up. Uh, this spot right here, perfect bump over guardrail the guardrail is actually like set slightly back 
like you can tell that it's like a little bit back but it is close enough that like doing nollie stuff and this trick actually was really hard i kept hitting the pole on most of it but yeah um this next clip is my ex-girlfriend uh we broke up because i was a super fucking shitty boyfriend and she has every right to dislike me um but it was cool to have a trick of her in this part because she's such a good skateboarder and a really amazing person uh this is one of my favorite tricks that i've ever done um so fun fact about this trick wally 180 switch nose manual on courthouse um i had super fucking shitty bearings and I would, like, get halfway and not have enough speed to, like, make it off the end. And then I remember the try, maybe, like, two tries before I landed this one. Like, my bearings were, like, really, really squeaking. I spit on my bearings. And uh, for whatever reason, it seemed to make them roll a little better. I don't know if it actually did. But this is probably my favorite trick I've ever done on Cordell's. I've done this. I've done nose manual drop off to flat ground to nose manual nollie up lip on the ledge. But I definitely, like, kind of whack on the nollie up, I'm pretty sure. Oh, actually, you know what? I went back and refilmed it, and I didn't work on the third time. I did it a couple times, so it was terrible. Um, which is gross, and definitely not my favorite trick on it. And then the other trick I did was this trick, Wally 180 to switch manual. And I did a Wally nose manual, body varial switch nose manual, uh, pop to fakie. And if you're wondering yourself, Dan, why do you do so many Wally up tricks? Why don't you flip up like everyone else? It's because I fucking can't. Uh, I've done kickflip up this thing. Like, I think I've done kickflip nose manual. I've done fakey shove switch manual. And I went there to do fakey front side flip nose manual when I was, like, feeling pretty poppy. And I did get one up there. I did, like, fakey front side flip. And, like, I didn't, like, get into the nose manual and then, like, hold it. I got into the nose manual because there's no way in hell that my back truck would clear the edge of the ledge unless I started off as a nose manual. But uh, I got into one where, like, I got into the nose manual, my back truck cleared, and I got on top of the, the ledge. And I think that was like one out of 20. And I probably stopped after like 25 tries. Because when you skate this thing, you get so tired from trying to pop so high. But uh, fun fact, uh, the day that I did this, Tiago Lemos and um, I forget his name, but another Brazilian guy was there who was also riding for Boulevard Skateboards at the time. They were skating up this this loading dock. Like it was a, like it was a fucking Euro gap. Like I swear to fucking God, they both, they were like playing, they weren't playing skate up it, but they were like doing the same trick. So like, Tiago switch flipped up it. The other guy switch flipped up it. Tiago fakey flipped up it. The other guy fakey flipped up it. Then they're doing regular Santiago flips. And then the trick that they were trying, both of them were trying this, was switch flip manual, maybe like shove it out, front switch front shove out or something like that. And they were just dorking around, like almost doing it. It was mind boggling. That guy's the best skater. But yeah, this ended up being my ender. Wally 180, switch nose manual. That little crack in the ledge the, on the loading dock definitely makes Wally's a little weird. But... Yep, that was the end of it. And then the animation was cool. I used to ride for friendship. No, I don't. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, there's my friend Grant who filmed it. And uh, Tim Olson, the owner of Friendship, is who edited it. Edited it. Uh, he's like a filmer for the barracks now, though. I mean, he still does Friendship. Um, but I think his deal now is he's kind of like taking the place of uh, Chase. And Chase is maybe has like a little bit higher up role there. And then, like, a lot of stuff that Chase was doing, Tim is now doing, I think is the deal. Because whenever I go to the barracks, Tim's always there, like, filming, like, the bangings and the this and then that. The, that. Um, Tim actually had a little bit of uh, internet fame, too. Uh, it was, uh, they used to have a thing called Roger the Month, and there was, like, a Tim and Eric edit where it was him and his friend Eric, and they do some uh, really goofy, funny tricks. But anyways, that's my video part. I don't know. Uh, that's my review. Uh, that is my least favorite video part. I'm not... The only trick in that entire video part that I'm stoked on is the Wally 180 switch nose manual. And I did like the half cab crook back to fakie up that taller ledge because I suck at that trick now. Um, and that, yeah, it's, that's pretty much it. And Leah's trick. That was cool too. Uh, everything else, not, not a big fan of. So that is uh, this video, I guess. Uh, I hope you didn't hate it that much. I hope it was somewhat entertaining. Um... If you people are interested, if you seem to enjoy it at all, maybe I'll review some more video parts. I have 24 video parts, but I think only like 18 or 19 of them are on YouTube. Uh, and to find the other ones just sounds like effort. I'd have to hit up my old friends. I think my friend Chad has like my first video part though. I'd love to get my hands on that. I skate to, uh, God, what band did I skate to? I skated to something probably really great. Something that I thought was like Indian corky and it ended up 
it was probably like Modest Mouse or something like that. Like something that's like indie, but like indie. Um, yeah, that's yeah, this is the end of the video. <laughs> Bye.